Abort 67 demonstrators faced a large counter-protest from students as they arrived at Falmer today. The group has gained national coverage by protesting outside doctors' clinics. They bring with them large banners showing terminated pregnancies. But Sussex students attempted to cover them up in a vocal counter-rally. They show horrific, sort of very graphic imagery of um, what they claim are terminations. Um, and what's happened here is that the group sprung up to kind of organise a counter-protest. Abort 67 wants to repeal the 1967 Abortion Act, which allowed legal terminations in this country. The pro-life groups say that students in particular need to know the truth about abortion. We are looking at the rights of all human beings. These human beings don't have rights because they're in the womb, but they're human beings, and we want to see these human beings have human rights. The group is banned from campus, but still wanted to stage their campaign near the university. Many students condemn the demonstration. I think this sort of stuff can seriously traumatise people. It can be really disturbing. Some of the images are actually really quite horrible. It's actually really, really dangerous to try and tell people what they should and shouldn't do. Like it's an individual choice that people have the right to their choice. It's human life. I don't feel that this woman should be allowed to speak her agenda on camera. Sorry. Some protesters attempted like, uh, to block our cameras to prevent Port 67 expressing their message. The pro-life group say they welcome the student counter-protest. They say it only brings attention to their cause. The Sussex Student Union has condemned the anti-abortion protesters, maintaining their pro-choice stance. Abort 67 now plans to spread their demonstration across the county, with schools, colleges and other universities being targeted.